cinema and the lure of uh, telling stories is something that's fascinated so many people and what's interesting is the fact that you know you don't need to be a student of films to get into this space and you're one such person who's pursued that passion to come here and let's find out more about Gurraj Kulkarni and his journey into cinema as well as his latest film The Judgment hello sir hello mm. So yeah it's an interesting journey i would uh, try to tell you as much as possible about my journey and uh, this one uh, nice meeting you sunaina yes. it's good to see you after some time yes sir. Yeah. so let's start from the basics sure what was it about cinema that lured you was it right from childhood or when did this fascination begin i don't know constantly i always ask myself uh, what made me to take a, take this up because uh, Uh, i had uh, a good career uh, a lot of recognition and i enjoyed uh, doing what i was doing but still uh, something kept me inside uh, that that asked me repeatedly that uh, okay are you going to do this uh, all the time or are you going to chase your dream okay. so this is kind of uh, the space i always wanted i really cannot uh, pinpoint uh, to particular reason why i wanted to do this i think a lot of things have influenced me mm. right uh, reading mm. is uh, me uh, and uh, listening to music is me and making movies is me and uh, traveling is me so there are so many things i i want wanted to do and uh, making movie was uh, something uh, it i think uh, it uh, started at the very young age but so was what was the atmosphere at home was it a very cinema friendly space oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> it wasn't cinema friendly as as i mean i would i would say that because okay. my father is a physician uh, my mother uh, is a homemaker and uh, she also did lot of social services mm. like uh, you know helping uh, women to learn reading and writing and uh, to opening bank accounts in uh, this one i come from very small town uh, neglected uh, kind of uh, uh, government uh, whether mm. it knew there was a place called sindhgi i am not sure so so i grew up in a very uh, middle class lower middle class family so reading was acceptable and the reading was encouraged but watching movie was something not not so welcomed but uh, ironically my father uh, is a great fan of uh, mr dilip kumar oh, okay right and uh, while he was going to college uh, he i think he admired uh, dilip kumar's uh, acting and he watched his movies and whenever it came to the movies mm. so he always referred uh, because that time i was a huge fan of mr bachchan and uh, mr uh, vishnuvardhan mm. so he used to tease me that you know dilip kumar <laughs> is the best guy you should watch his movies so we did watch classics uh, okay. together mm. so maybe that is one way of you know uh, it it started with him mm. and then it moved to my brother mm. so we both uh, used to watch movies mm. we didn't have tv or any other devices to watch movies anywhere or everywhere we had to fight mm. uh, to with uh, my mother to get some money go and watch uh, in theater so that's it mm. but uh, i think what drove me to the movie making uh, if i can say uh, my reading uh, made me to take up the movies your first twist was accident yeah was that an accident or how did that happen <laughs> <laughs> i i would say it was accidental mm. uh, so uh, like uh, you know a uh, couple of friends we got together we wanted to do certain things and uh, see cinema is always glamour and everyone wants to be associated with cinema and then we got associated with that i that time i was with a corporate company mm. i was doing i was working in a mnc so i was not sure mm. whether i should give my name mm. but i did give my money 
to make that movie it is friends hmm. uh, you know we got together we made that movie for the fun hmm. and i got to learn a lot of things hmm. about movie making i worked with uh, mr bhaskar hmm. jess bhaskar dop i happened to meet ricky cage hmm. uh, by the way we introduced correct ricky cage uh, to the music industry um, yeah and uh, <laughs> i'm happy that you know he won uh, grammy awards uh. so it was good experience i would say and then i went back to after that i went back to my uh, regular job yes and then the there's a comeback with last bus yeah <laughs> and lending your name to it this time yeah yeah i did i did <laughs> so <clears throat> last bus uh, happened again uh, accidentally mm -hmm. Uh, i met uh, uh, makers hmm. arvind and avinash uh, through common friend and then uh, they were thinking about making a movie with a with an interesting subject but uh, i was kind of living in brussels hmm. uh, for my job in belgium hmm. so i said okay uh, if you guys are doing it because anyway i was i was seriously considering uh, making a movie of my own hmm. so i said uh, okay uh, nice to be associated with young makers like arvind and avinash and then i said for oh, fine i'll uh, come on board as a producer uh, eventually hmm. uh, i got into i mean i started learning a lot of uh, things uh, like uh, work uh, from post productions and uh, promotions um, cutting trailers all that kind of sort and i knew that i'm kind of ready to make my own true i mean yeah. it like they say until you jump into this uh, river you wouldn't learn to swim no, in the yeah. against the tide so yes. you got to do that yeah, yeah yeah but simultaneously i know that you did uh, take up a lot of learning to get into direction so tell Correct. us about uh, the journey towards your debut film amrut apartments i started writing mm. way before uh, making last bus or way before making accident mm. i didn't have uh, i didn't have formal uh, yeah uh, to for, for the writing mm. but i knew because i used to write mm. i used to uh, write poems i used to write short stories because of my uh, the culture mm. uh, my father and my mother used to have at home so that was there but mm. it was not uh, uh, completely uh, uh, you know structured mm. so i used to write and then uh, i had an idea because uh, amrut apartments is based on a couple mm. where they come from different culture they get married and then they will have difference of uh, uh, lifestyles and they end up uh, arguing and uh, deciding to get separated mm. that's that was a story so i wrote this story way mm. earlier and then uh, when i decided to make a movie in fact i worked on different subjects mm. i wanted to make that movie when i discussed with uh, a couple of my other friends see this is something i had no idea about making movies mm. okay all i had was a good story on my hand mm. right and then yeah it is innocent mm. or uh, foolishness right and then uh, uh, because i knew Uh, the movie making process i also got um, trained mm. or you know in different places where i lived mm. uh, different parts of the world so all that came in little handy but uh, you know movie making is a very complicated process if you don't know it well it becomes complicated right so that's like a persistent uh, effort towards getting to where you are there so while yeah. you know that the corporate career was there you knew that that's not where you are meant to be yeah yeah so yeah. you kept learning yeah well. yeah i kept learning i i wherever uh, i went in for the job i worked in los angeles I was fortunate enough to mm. work in that place which is again a hub. movie uh, hub hollywood mm. um so i learned uh, the few things mm. uh, from the studios right i used to go in uh, take up uh, weekend sessions come back and then mm. uh, go to the next uh, studio um, for the weekend and that and then i lived uh, in uh, uh, in new york mm. uh, for some time i visited uh, nbc i took some crash course there i lived in london i took uh, courses how to write the screenplay in notting hill i worked in sydney i i never told 
this mm. to anybody you made me to say this <laughs> <laughs> i did some course in sydney uh, where action choreography uh, was uh, taught so i i knew mm. the bits and pieces of movie making but putting things together and uh, uh, telling a story with uh, artist uh, all that uh, gave me a different uh, perspective of mm. uh, how hard it is and uh, how uh, i mean it is it demands a lot of work and a lot of focus if i may quote mm. mr m s ramesh who's our dialogue writer mm. it's like uh, tapasu mm. you know you got to be focused uh, if you lose focus you won't be able to complete the project or complete the narration complete the story mm. so amrut apartments gave me an opportunity to do my tapasu <laughs> nice right so uh, i did that i learned a lot uh, the greatest part uh, to take away from amrut apartments is uh, my interpersonal skills got better mm. uh, and uh, my resource management uh, uh, got much much better and uh, i know how it feels after burning the pocket mm. <laughs> <laughs> so all that you know uh, but uh, i'm glad i did that that's, i'm i'm really happy that's awesome and uh, now that you uh, you're in this final fruition stage of your second directory let's yeah. talk about the judgment yeah and yeah. i did get to see some of your early posters and everything yeah, and it's yeah. interesting how prepared you are for projects and i've seen the number of projects that you are prepared for yeah yeah so yeah. tell us how did this story come about you know the judgment uh, it's an interesting story if you are okay to listen and uh, mm. uh, if you are fine to hear my story mm. uh, i mean shuruaat se shuru karta hu okay yes so shuruaat se shuru karenge to i in fact uh, judgment was not on my plate mm. there was something else mm. right and uh, it just so happened that uh, i i had approached mr belwadi for mm. some other script and to do a very niche mm. a very what should i say uh, the story from the roots okay i wanted to place the story uh, in my hometown mm. and uh, shoot with the mr belwadi we both were very excited to do that then came uh, someone from mr ravichandran's uh, this one access who who had the access to mr ravichandra so they said uh, okay why don't you write something for him i said i cannot write something for the star superstar like uh, uh, mr ravichandra because i adored him mm. and i loved him while watching him on the big screen for his style for his making i was too scared too uh, too scared mm. that's the right word Uh, to meet him and uh, tell him a story and i i i i thought i am not that kind of writer to write something for him right and then i kept it uh, i i said no to him uh, no to the guy who had approached his name is uh, shu hmm. so shu said okay no worry uh, he is not someone like what you had hmm. uh, a perception creates right hmm. a perception is created when you watch someone Uh, he is 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 not like that he is very down to earth and he is ready to listen mm. and uh, he can be a nice person and he is nice guy okay i realized that later mm. so but i i it was almost like 2 to 3 months i was almost ready with my other uh, uh, part so all that uh, uh, things while mm. it is happening i went to my hometown mm. right because uh, when i discussed with my brother he said are you crazy uh, you should uh, you should have agreed to it you should uh, be taking some uh, project something like that mm -hmm. and i said fine let me do some uh, thing if something comes up to my mind i will write it and i will narrate it to him mm. so that's the start mm. right then i happen to watch a video of mr ravi chandran talking to press or someone and uh, expressing his guilt mm. okay he said i should have done that or i should have i should have taken care of that mm. something like that see at that age when you look back one or two guilts mm. uh, you are uh, this one will so i started looking at that mm. what makes a person to feel guilty and how 
that person comes out. That is how I came up with the idea about a person or an expert or a professional. Uh, so I am presenting him as an advocate. So what happens to an advocate? So that is how it started. Mm. Now I have an idea and I have a character created. Now the biggest task of narrating to him, right? And <laughs> all uh, while driving to his place, I had given 10 minutes for myself. <laughs> okay, I walk in, I introduce myself, probably I'll take a picture along with him and then he will kick me out. Mm. So I will come out. So that's all I was prepared. But uh, Ravichandran um, was kind enough to listen to me. I'll appreciate my story, the way I narrated to him and uh, he listened very carefully about uh, my whole making process. Mm. And he said, uh, work on this and come back, let's come back later. So, that's the kind of... Uh, the long and short long, of... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the... Super. And, uh, you know, this is a subject that requires a lot of nuances, yeah. given that it has... It's a legal drama. Right. So, how did you go with, uh, in terms of your preparations and the background for this? Yeah, yeah. That is when Mr. Vasudev Murthy comes in. Okay. <laughs> mm. So, I kind of created these characters mm. and I had this initial idea of a lawyer making a, committing a mistake mm. and then uh, I kind of like Abhimanyu, mm. I went into Chakra Vyuha, <laughs> right? So I entered the Chakra Vyuha, mm. I knew how to get into there, mm. but I didn't know how to come out of come it. Come out of it. And <laughs> how to have a closure for that. Mm. So Mr. Vasudev Murthy was very handy, he's a dear friend of mine mm. and uh, we had worked on lot of subjects. We have kept uh, our database mm. or we have a bank of stories, scripts and everything. We have kept it ready and uh, his, he happens to be a trained uh, uh, law student. Mm. Uh, so he, we started referring to the different uh, cases, how we can adopt the cases to this and then he got a whole new mm. uh, um, vision to this uh, story. So, how much we can see it on uh, screen, that mm. is different part. That's because it's very complicated. Like uh, if, if I make a movie about a doctor, uh, I can explain to certain extent about uh, the surgery. Mm. I cannot get into the nuances of surgery, how that has been done and all that. But we have tried our best to, to communicate with a regular audience about the excitement, about the turns and twists, about the legal aspects of it, that we have done. And we have done fairly good. Great. Yeah. And also what's um, very striking about the judgment is the cast. I mean, yeah. So you have like probably one of the biggest ensemble casts in recent times. That's right. Tell us what went into gathering everyone <laughs> one of them. <laughs> So I, I, I keep thinking about this, mm. okay, I, when I look back, I sometimes I'm, I'm surprised, did I do this? Mm. Is it me or is it something else? Did uh, someone uh, bless me? Mm. I agree because it's, it's purely, it's uh, inc co coincident, mm. I would say coincident, yeah. There, there are three things, right? Mm. Why anybody, mm. any artist would be part of something like this. Mm. Uh, one is money mm. and uh, another one is story. Mm. And the third dimension is uh, is the person mm. behind it. So if I look at that, I'm not the person like, uh, you know, I'm not the star maker, mm. right? And uh, do I say that uh, they like the story? Do I say that I'm paying them well? Or do I say that they liked me? Maybe it is all of three, mm. all three. But whomever I have narrated the story, they have loved it. Mm. And I would give a credit for having this kind of casting mm. to the story. So that's where I leave it. But I, I love the kind of artist I have for this movie. Mm. And uh, somewhere uh, the, uh, the God has been kind enough because I have waited almost 20 years to make uh, entry into the movies Correct. and I kept my dream inside and maybe universe listened to that and they said uh, ja beda ja 
आयुष खरले सो इ मस्ट हैव बीन इंटरेस्टिंग टू आल्सो द डायनामिक्स बिकॉज़ व्हाइल यू हैव रवि सर हु कम्स फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट थॉट फ्रॉम अ प्रोसेस ऑफ सिनेमा एंड देन यू हैव लाइक समवन लाइक धनिया हु डेब्यूट जस्ट अ कपल ऑफ इयर्स अगो करेक्ट सो व्हाट वर द डायनामिक्स ऑन सेट इफ यू कुड टॉक अबाउट द पीपल इन द वॉल या आई आई थिंक ओनली दिस काइंड ऑफ कास्टिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टोरी दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस वन कुड हैव बीन मेड और could be made only with my age and with my experience mm. because uh, i come from uh, a very senior management uh, uh, background and i have better uh, interpersonal skills and uh, i have written the story mm. i don't have confusion over there so when i'm narrating uh, to uh, to mr ravichandran about the scene mm. it took some time for me to get adjusted to his thoughts mm. and uh, with every uh, every actors as such Uh, for for that matter so i am quick learner mm. and i understood the what mm. artist or an actor or an actress expects from the director i learned uh, all this on my job for example mr ravichandran when he enters uh, then he he has a certain uh, uh, ways of uh, uh, you know he needs inputs in certain way mm. very specific uh and then i understood that and i started giving him uh, mm. inputs to the character or what requires for the scene in in he is required this mm. one danya on the other side mm. she is open mm. right and uh, i can i can brief her uh, a little bit in detailing mm. mr ravichandran doesn't require details mm. right and uh, for that matter megana mm. yeah, megana has her own style of taking inputs mm. so i observed all that and i adjusted myself with each artist uh, and then i pitched uh, my narration to to their uh, what do you call uh, Requ- yeah, their way of working their way of working yeah. and there's also while you have a lot of people who you are collaborating with for the first time yeah. there's a lot of repeat uh, be names in terms of both actors <laughs> and technicians yeah is yeah. that something that you like you know taking people <laughs> along because of your comfort factor <laughs> see i more than skills mm. i i look for uh, i i should be comfortable with yeah. that person mm. my way of working is something very unusual for mm. the industry standards so i wanted to work with the, the people who understand me as a person as a maker mm. mr kemparaju if you are referring to him then uh, i know him from last 8 10 years correct so he knows me hmm. through and through and uh, he can understand that hmm. so i can uh, just drop into his uh, studio uh, and then have cup of tea chat a bit whether i'm working on my movie or not it doesn't matter hmm. and uh, rajan another nice guy you know i don't discuss work with them when i meet them i always make fun have little fun and discuss about uh, the family work and other things and uh, be done with that mm. and then then they will know exactly uh, what i the the way aesthetics mm. uh, and i don't make uh, certain things mm. so it is easy to work with them so to tell you to answer to you uh, this one is i need to be comfortable correct uh, to work with any anyone mm. great yeah. and you don't with uh, the judgment coming yeah. back to the subject itself yeah uh, the fact that it has such an intriguing story of you know uh, someone who is guilty for something that is there which led you to even uh, and it came out of a facet of your leading right. man's right. life right so uh, you know tell us about the story and what viewers can expect from a film like this how do i say this without revealing correct the, <laughs> it's hard <laughs> it's very hard <laughs> okay there is a dialogue i have mm. written for meghana meghana's character mm. Mm. we all make mistakes uh, some knowingly some unknowingly but when we are ready to accept our mistake and correct ourselves and take proper action to it uh, to fix mm. that so that's the kind of character Mm. uh mr ravi chandran is playing mm. accepting your mistake requires lot of courage and uh, that resembles his real life as well mm. right mm. he knows that uh, you know uh, he accepts it some people some guys on the social media might say ah okay you 
keep talking about your past glory. For me, I'm learning from it. Mm. If you pay attention, I'm learning from it. So have patience, have maturity to learn. Mm. Because he is the greatest person showman. or, or yeah. showman uh, Kannada cinema has ever produced. Mm. And if you don't appreciate or understand, then you are missing or something. Mm. So I learned uh, that from him. Mm. I mean, uh, that's the kind of story. That's the kind of character mm. he's playing. Mm. Now, he has the mistake in the form of Mr. Digant. Digant plays an interesting role and uh, they come face to face. Mm. And I'm hoping the audience will enjoy uh, watching these two perform to their best. New Hela Kodre, you know, it becomes very hard to remember those names. Yeah, yeah, Such yeah. a big cast. I know. So, let me make that easier. Yella cast has written. Okay, sure. <laughs> so, I'll start naming each one of them. Okay. Would you be able to give no, me a little yeah. bit of yeah, yeah, working yeah. with each? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of overwhelming huh. to remember all the names and uh, recall them and uh, huh. do that, uh, acknowledging each one of them. Uh, I'm glad. You have listed it down. <laughs> Correct. And uh, let's go through that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, sure. Let's start from Ravi sir. Ravi sir, uh, of course, yes. I mean, uh, very sweet of him. The the perception what every um, audience or every person in Karnataka, whatever the perception they have, uh, it's different in his real uh, life. Yes, he is uh, his little. Uh, uh, you, you seem to be out of the this one, but uh, he makes it for fun. Nice. Yeah. Digant. He's he's one of the finest actors, according to me. Super. And uh, he gives something else. As a director, all I am supposed to do was to record that. That's it. Nice. Great guy. And someone closer to your part of the state, Meghna Gaunkar. Me Meghna is a very nice girl. Adaptive and uh, she learns quickly. Dhanya Ram Kumar. Yeah, again, I have a, a story about uh, approaching Dhanya, mm. right? And uh, again, mm. I was kind of, uh, it was intimidating uh, mm. experience, uh, right? Uh, anybody related to the Rajkumar family or uh, going to their uh, place and uh, talking to them, it could be overwhelming and uh, it, it, it's a different experience altogether. Mm. So, when I stepped into their place, uh, when I approached her for a role, I had no hopes mm. that uh, she would be part of this. Mm. But she was nice enough. Uh, but they, <coughs> both uh, Purnima ma'am and Dhania heard the story and uh, they loved it. They, both of them loved it. And uh, Dhania was the person like, uh, she immediately responded that I will do your yourself. Nice. So, I am thankful to her being part of that. Super. Yeah. Lakshmi Gopal Swami. Very dear friend of mine. Mm. Yeah. La having Lakshmi Gopal Swami on board is uh, something uh, I wouldn't even have imagined. Very sweet, uh, very lovely, homely uh, actress and uh, brilliant performer. Nagabarna sir. Nagabarna sir, he is like a goat. Okay. Uh, goat as in greatest of, greatest of all time. Kannadadalli, Adu Muttada Swapilla Athara Hathara. And mm. the kind of movies he has made, mm. uh, the kind of variation he has given uh, to the Kannada industry, nobody has given. True. So, having him on board and working with him, dream come true. Perfect. Yeah. Prakash Balwadi. Prakash Balwadi sir is someone who can bring in energy with his slow talking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's slow, he talks slow, but uh, the kind of energy he brings and he, he makes you comfortable and uh, he makes you feel good about yourself. Mm. That's what I have noticed and a great guy to have mm. on board. Rajinder Karant, a friend again. He is a dost forever. He is a kind of Asthana Kalavida. <laughs> uh, whatever idea, whatever thing uh, I get in, uh, I uh, run to him mm. and I discuss with him. Uh, dear friend of mine. But uh, he didn't work with me in uh, Amrut Apartments. Mm. He refused to work with me. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Rajendra Karat, you refused. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, good friend mm. and a great artist, actor. Rangayana Raghu sir. Rangayana Raghu sir, I worship him. You ask him to do A, he will do mm -hmm. it. You ask him to do B, he will do it. You ask him Z, he will do it. You ask him to give mangoes, he will do it. He, he can do anything and everything under the sun. 
he is a great asset to the Kannada industry and I am blessed to have him on my set. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, Rajendra Karanchar didn't work with you in Amrut Apartments, Amrut Apartments yeah. but Balaji Manohar did and yeah. we have him again. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Balaji Manohar, you know what, uh, for Amrut Apartments, I waited almost six months for him to work with me. Wow. Yeah, he, I know him since accident days. Mm. Uh, great friends, uh, we, we know each other's humor, mm. uh, brilliant performer. Uh, again, he has done a fabulous job in uh, judgment. Awesome. Mm. Krishna Hebbari. Uh, how do I start? Uh, even he didn't work with me in Namrata Park. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, having Krishna Hebbari, and again for this judgment, I waited for him. I wanted uh, him to work with me. Mm. Uh, I waited. He had some personal challenges, uh, but he finally agreed. What a performer. performer. Sujay Shastri. Sujay Shastri is the person I would love to repeat in every movie. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Mm. A great guy. Excellent humor. He comes uh, to set with a lot of energy. Mm. And uh, that's more than uh, mm. enough. And then you have Arvind Kuplikar. Kuplikar came on board for a cameo. Um, brilliant performer and a great friend. Awesome. Yeah. And then it's very interesting in the list I get to see a father and son yeah. duo. Tell us, uh, Ravi Shankar <laughs> Gowda and Surya. See, I'll tell you a very interesting uh, part about uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Gowda. Ravi Shankar Gowda has a great fan at our home. Mm. Uh, my wife, mm. uh, Pallavi, his fan. So, she got excited when uh, I told her that uh, Ravi Shankar Gowda has agreed to be part of the judgment. She never shown that kind of excitement uh, with any of the artists. <laughs> but she did nice. with uh, Ravi Shankar Gowda. And uh, what a performer mm. and uh, I wish to see him more and more in a lot more movies and I also wish please sir next movie Nam Jyote Kelsa Maad Boku Nam Bartin I'll come come to you with a good script and our Maga Surya is a great actor in the form of kid brilliant actor mm. brilliant observer Tande Gata Kamaga Lovely. <laughs> and then you have one of my favorite uh, uh -huh. newer artists who I, who's emerging, Rekha uh -huh. Kudliki ma'am. Uh, Rekha Kudliki ma'am is like, uh, uh, she comes across as a quiet person, but uh, the way she performs is brilliant. Uh -huh. And uh, I made her to cry a lot in my movie, but next movie, it won't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Tumba yeah. ke. <laughs> repeat the casting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to repeat all of them. Super. And then Rupa, Rupa Rayapa. Rupa Rayapa is someone, you should watch her mm -hmm. in uh, in the judgment. She has given her best oh, in, in this. <coughs> yeah, given that the way people come up with list this long is only when they talk about people who are out of the big boss house, but I think you have a bigger list in there. Bigger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it was kind of big boss only, but in a good way. Or in a much more fun way, uh, the set uh, used to be. So, Great. Yeah. But you know, what is interesting is if when I see this list, mm -hmm. there's Ravi sir, mm -hmm. there's Prakash, mm -hmm. there is uh, Sujay Shastri, <laughs> Rajendra Karant, uh, Arvind Kuplikar, Nagabarna sir. That's a lot of directors you have directed. Yeah, <laughs> How is that? A, <laughs> I think uh, to put it in, in, in an interesting way, I think those directors mm. allowed me mm. to direct them. Mm. I didn't direct them. They made me to direct them. Nice. I was, I was there to say start and action and cut and all that. Mm. But, uh, but they did a fabulous job. Mm. And <coughs> you know, in my interactions with you, I have also noticed how much you've looked at uh, every moment with Ravi sir as a master class. So tell us yeah. about what you've learned from the showman. From the day I met him, he's been surprising me. See, the first thing people, the moment they see Ravi Chandran, Ravi Chandran is known for his big canvas, big budget, big movies and all that. Mm. So you, if you notice, he has done everything. Mm. Right? And he has uh, one or two tips for each role. So for the director, as a director or, uh, or as a writer, he has offered me a lot. Mm. How to divide the scenes, mm. how to come up with uh, day programming chat and all that. Mm. I sometimes, you know, as a director, you get, um, try, try to explain 
Hmm. Spoon feed your artist. Correct. So he said, uh, okay, you, I understand you are too excited and uh, too energy. You have lots of energy uh, to do certain things. But, uh, you know, uh, for me, I'm okay with one or two words. Hmm. <laughs> I can understand. Uh, so I, that is when I realized that, okay, uh, fine. I have to give him the specific, uh, uh, this one, and he will take it from there. Super. So he did that. Mm. And he did it with uh, complete satisfaction. And you know, we did talk about your uh, ch childhood influence. And one yeah. thing I've heard a lot is about how your father's <laughs> been instrumental <laughs> in your tastes, so not just in literature, but in cinema. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about the cinema bit. Yeah, my father, as I said, uh, is a great fan of Dilip Kumar. And he watched a lot of movies. I think he kind of hid it from uh, his children because he wanted uh, us to focus on studies. But he also made sure that because eventually your kids will grow up and uh, go to theatres, go to different places and watch mm. all sorts of movies. So I think this is my uh, way of looking back at that. Uh, he made sure that, you know, we watched classics. And he made us to appreciate the what classics are, mm. right? And uh, he had a very typical way of uh, making us to watch such movies. Okay. You know, when you're growing up, you always tend to watch uh, the fun movies, Correct. action oriented and uh, all that. Mm. For example, I, I, because my friend owns a theater, mm. so I knew exactly what movie is coming mm. in that week. And if it was Vishnuardhan movie, mm. then I always wanted to watch Vishnu Ardhan on big screen. So what he used to do was like, you know, if you watch certain movie or if you do certain things, then I will pay you to mm. watch Vishnu Ardhan. So he used to take me the movies like uh, Rustum Sohra. Oh, nice. Yeah. And uh, I watched uh, Baiju Bhavra. Okay. And uh, I watched uh, Taj Mahal. Mm. And he used to come with me. And then he would uh, sit, sit quietly and allow me to watch even though now i don't know which movie i watched the next uh, the commercial or the fight sequence or something else but i remember the classic the classic and i remember the enjoying the making me emotional uh, to the characters and attached to the characters mm. baju bhavra I would, I wouldn't have known that uh, you know there was a great singer Correct. who defeated Tansen in uh, Akbar's court, and uh, then he was called uh, Bavra. True. So all that uh, kind of thing, and and the uh, Taj Mahal, Pradeep mm. Kumar, and he also made me to watch Tabbali uh, Unina mm. He also made me to watch Vandana uh, Dukhalalali, and he used to pay me. Mm. I, I, I think uh, uh, I should tell this. I mean, lots of people know my father, but uh, this part of my father may or may not be known to a lot of people in, uh, in Sindhi and that area. So what he uh, used to do was pay me hmm. money to go and watch movie in Bijapur, which is 60 kilometers away, two hours of drive hmm. that time. Now it is 45 minutes, but two hours of drive take a bus, go to Bijapur, watch movie and come back. So he taught me about how to travel mm. all by myself, experience that, that world of bus getting down and buying tickets and see the world and then watch the movie and come back. So I watched uh, Kung Fu of Seven Steps, mm. Gandhi uh, movie, all mm. that uh, because of my father. Lovely. And uh, Kung Fu of Seven Steps, I watched it because... Uh, my father uh, knew that I have that uh, jumping around kind of attitude <laughs> <laughs> as a kid. Huh. So I used to do a lot of actions because mm. Vishnu Ardhan, because of Vishnu Ardhan, he did fights. Mm. And uh, as a uh, growing up kid, I watched Jackie Chan, Vishnu Ardhan, Prabhakar mm. fights and also mm. a part of Kung Fu, Kung Fu and stuff. So my father has had, had been great influence on me mm. to pick the right moves mm. and watch it. Great. And I think probably that's why I kind of got associated with making movie. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. And, yeah. uh, you know, uh, 
I I mean this is something that especially being pe- fans of Ravi Chandran there are two th- two aspects to his career that people like there is the more controlled performer that he has especially post the drishya phase yeah, yeah. at the same time you cannot uh, take him apart from romance right so do we get which shade of him do we get to see in this film <laughs> yeah my even my producers want him to a romance with the uh, uh, heroine uh, so do we get to see that here i would keep that as a secret <laughs> 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 i want to surprise oh. either by making him to play a romantic uh, role or not playing both are surprises right get it so yeah he'll play a little bit of romance nice yeah. good managed to get little out of the bag <laughs> but uh, you know, there's or you while you did while judgment is here i you didn't mention about a literary influence yeah so post judgment do you have any idea of adapting something from literature or anything? i i do you do i do people whom uh, they know me mm. the, the, the kind of my friends my family they will be surprised uh, to see me making something like judgment okay but they will not be surprised if i make something from the literature mm. right i am uh, i follow dr abendre read bhairappa all that right so lot of people uh, may today's generation generation especially they may or may not be knowing one of the best writers we used to have mm. uh, much earlier mm. uh, i think 30s or 40s Uh, named galaganath hmm. i have kept subject ready for making uh, about mr galaganath oh lovely yeah so uh, because my mother was influenced by his writings oh thanks and uh, she used to tell me about lot of things about hmm. uh, his uh, books uh, he had the way uh, how he used to write and my father gave me another aspect to that hmm. uh, he used to tell me about how galaganath as a writer not only did the writing he also got into publishing and making sure that his books are reached to the reader so i see a great uh, story narration yeah uh, that's true it. i mean actually it's a fabulous yeah. thing because yeah. right now we are talking about self publishing being the best way today with amazon coming in yeah and it's exactly. interesting you're talk- yeah you're connecting to something a decade ago a ex- ex- century ago yeah and exactly the thing is uh, we don't know much about him mm-hmm. that's i mean we don't talk such great personalities uh, we used to have mm. uh, and they have given us lot of knowledge mm. that knowledge is uh, somewhere we have ignored i want to bring that back mm. uh, to the bigger screen mm. uh, and that's my dream so oh, that's lovely yeah. because yeah. i mean it is interesting how people are embracing i mean last year we had daredevil mustafa being embraced so yeah. i'm sure people we have enough takers it's yeah. proven that yeah i have a detailed uh, screenplay uh, written and kept ready uh, even uh, we did you get a chance to see that uh, the first look poster or something like that i haven't seen no this. you haven't okay yes. so everything is ready mm. so all i need to do is uh, uh, find uh, the time mm. uh, make sure i do a justice to the great personality great mm. man mm. a great writer mm. uh, so i'm getting ready for that So we we've been talking about the judgment uh-huh. and you know when we see a title like this yeah. there is you think it there's a legal aspect to it okay. and there's drama to it but yeah. i'm very intrigued when you say this is a legal thriller tell yeah. us why that. what is a legal thriller that's a new genre only yeah 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 it's a, see uh, the thing is um, judgment is a legal thriller because uh, it is associated with the thrilling moments it is a emotional drama Uh, of a character uh, main character uh, uh, doing certain things but uh, another uh, element another aspect another uh, dimension mm. uh, is uh, thrilling moments mm. so <clears throat> when we have uh, uh, cases arguments uh, then there is always up and downs right it's not like uh, one lawyer or one this one always winning and he will so lot of twist and uh uh narration uh, is t- takes you to the thrilling moments mm. so vasudev murthy and i when we started discussing uh, we always mm. we we love writing uh, thrillers mm. that's what we have been doing so when we came up with this idea uh, we wanted to 
make it uh, more than legal drama mm. we wanted to take it to the legal thriller side mm. and uh, we have done that so i would i would call the judgment as a legal thriller rather than any other words that gives us something exciting yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a new kind of uh, narration let's see how it is accepted perfect yeah great and uh, before signing off yeah uh, if we have to talk about judgment and summarize it in two sentences okay wh- what would your judgment of your film be my judgment about my judgment movie it's engaging movie for the family who have who have missed mr ravichandra great yeah lovely yeah it was a great chat thank you good sunaina. luck for the film thank you sunaina it's uh, it's always pleasure uh, talking to you and uh, discussing because i know you mm. love movies you are always associated with movies and you are the one who gave me good space in your mm. writings so thank you for encouraging me uh, ang maker mm. uh, ang not in the age <laughs> yes but i'm just two year two mm. two old mm. uh, uh, two movies old uh, maker Uh, so uh, hope i get similar en- encouragement from uh, as well other reviewers as well i have made an effort mm. uh, to tell a story in a honest way mm. so that's all i can say and i have been backed up by brilliant performers mm. be it uh, krishna abale be it uh, mr ravi shankar gowda uh, balaji manohar sita kote jagdish jala mm. jagdish malnad and uh, the on top of that uh, my dear friend uh, rajendra karan right. yes megna gankar and lakshmi uh, gopal yeah by uh-huh. uh, the, the, yeah oh uh-huh. yeah it's so a... all, all the guys yes. uh, who have believed in me i hope i don't disappoint them i have presented them in a, mm. a good uh, this one so it's a new uh, wave uh, for kannada audience i hope uh, they accept and appreciate it great thank you so thank much. you sir thank yes you.